popular demand, we have the McGriddles, the sausage, egg, and meat, sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle, the bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. So if you're excited for more recipes like this, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments below. What would be your dream McGriddle? So what combination, what would be on the McGriddle? What kind of cake, like pancake, uh, buns would it be? Would it be waffles? Would it be, what would it be? Let me know in the comments below. I want to pick three of you guys to win a recipe book of your choice of whatever of all the recipe books I have. You can pick whichever one you like. And so also make sure to stay tuned for after the video because I'm going to give you guys, not after the video, but after the recipe portion of the video, I'm going to give you guys some pro tips on how to make these even more lower calorie with some swaps that'll most definitely make it lower calorie. So without further ado, let's get into today's recipe. So step one, we are going to make the McGriddle cake. So you're gonna add all your dry ingredients into a bowl and mix to avoid clumping. And remember the full recipe is in the description below. So all of these ingredients will be down there so you can double check. So you're gonna mix to avoid clumping. Then you're gonna add your wet ingredients in there and mix till you have a nice batter like consistency, AKA just no powdered chunks in there. Now you're gonna preheat your pan on a five out of 10 heat. Once it's preheated, you're gonna add these red circles on there. So I'll have my full Amazon storefront linked in the description below, but these silicone circles are awesome because they allow you to make a bunch of different cool things on your pan, AKA these McGriddle cakes. What you're gonna do is add one twelfth of your batter to each of the circles and you're gonna cook with the cover on top till you see the bubbles coming out the top of the cakes. And then you're gonna take the silicone circle off and then you're gonna flip the cakes and then you're gonna repeat this process for all 12 of your cakes. And I want to preface, this batter makes 12 cakes, but we're only going to use eight of the cakes because we're making four sandwiches. The macros per cake is pretty insane. I think it's 69 calories, eight grams of carbs, one and a half fat, six protein. So that's uh, pretty sweet. <laughs> So now once your cakes are all done, you're gonna keep your pan on a five out of 10 heat and then you're gonna have three slices of center cut bacon. You're gonna add that on there. And I got this reduced fat sausage from the grocery store. It's 10 fat, 13 protein per three ounces. And so each patty here is three ounces. I form them just by adding three ounces to parchment paper, smashing it down to form the patty and then adding it on there. Nothing, nothing crazy about the process. But when you're cooking the sausage, you're gonna know it's ready when the bacon is ready. It's pretty much the, when you flip the, bacon, flip the sausage. And so when you take the bacon off, the sausage should be ready as well. So you're gonna add the bacon to a paper towel to help crisp up. And now we're gonna take four large eggs and we're going to whisk them up and we're going to make our egg patties. So you're gonna take those same silicone circles, same process, spray the bottoms, flip over, and you're gonna carefully add your eggs in there because if you add too much at one time, it's gonna come out the side. So just be careful, add a little bit at a time until you think you've added about one egg's worth to each of them. And you're gonna add a cover on top to help them cook evenly. This is gonna take about four or five minutes for you'll see the top is no longer really liquidy. And so you, then you're able to take Take the silicone circle off and the eggs don't go over everywhere so then you take it off flip it over and repeat this process for all four of your eggs <laughs> So now once your egg patties are done, it's time to put together your McGriddles. So you're gonna make your sausage, egg and cheese McGriddles and your bacon, egg and cheese McGriddles. The game changer here, as you can see, is brushing some of that maple syrup on the bottom of the top pancake. That just gives it a nice flare. So now you're gonna add a cover on top to where you're gonna have everything melt and get warm again. And then it is time to enjoy my friends. <music> It's so fire. You guys are gonna love it. You're gonna love it. 
All right, so a few things. Uh, number one, I think the obvious swap that you can make to make this lower calorie would be to sub out the whole egg and make an egg white patty. You just add egg whites instead of a whole egg and cook it the same way. Another swap you can do is with the sausage. The sausage is pretty high calorie. So you can maybe a turkey sausage or a 96.4 lean ground beef. That's why the calories in the bacon, egg and cheese are only 277 versus 450 in that one. So if you make that swap, that's gonna be a game changer. And then and then also one other thing you can do is swap out the 2% sharp cheddar cheese with the fat-free cheese if you'd like. And so those are the low calorie swaps that can literally bring the, the calories down on these even more. And so if you enjoyed today's recipe, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. And then let me know in the comments below what would be your dream McGriddle. I'm gonna pick three of you guys to win a recipe book of your choice of all the ones I have launched. Remember, full recipes in the description below, so make sure to check that out for all the details, everything. And then I'll have my Amazon storefront link down there. I think that is it. I love and appreciate you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.